Yeah, whatever. So I've got this screwdriver from Roll Gear. 14 in 1 gearless ratcheting screwdriver. You see there the bits in the handle. And uh, I got to say, first off, first impressions, this thing's pretty spiffy. Now I was sent this screwdriver, uh, full disclosure, I was sent this for free. And uh, they sent this to me now close to a month ago. So I've been using this fairly extensively for the last month. Uh, it's nice and compact, fits in my bag that I carry with me everywhere I go throughout the day. A few basic tools in there, and this is one of them. And uh, over the last month, I've definitely formed some impressions on this thing, and I'm going to give you guys kind of a demonstration and example of what I think this would be good for as far as uh, mobile work. And uh, I've got a pretty close comparable screwdriver I'll be comparing it to. Um, but uh, hold on a second, and I'll be right back. Which, like I said, is gearless. You don't hear that because there's nothing to hear there. It ratchets. It's reversible. And then, real fine adjustment there for totally fixed. And that does work very smoothly. There is less back drag uh, on this with the gearless than there is on, say, this uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee Milwaukee ratcheting screwdriver uh, you see the bits here you get a good selection of bits I think you get four square drive uh, four Torx uh, four Phillips and two flathead bits and they fit like like this like so in the handle they fit securely in there but they're not too hard to put in the handle they're not too hard to uh, get out of the handle. That's something with the Milwaukee screwdriver that I just showed you. Uh, it leaves something to be desired. This screwdriver here, they're, they're kind of tough to get out of the handle. Got to put them out like that. Maybe some people are really up for that kind of retention, but uh, I just think it's unnecessary. But that's something that the roll gear gets definitely right. They, it, it holds them firmly in place, but they're not a major pain to get out of there either. Um, this is probably a good time for me to show you. So I, I have another screwdriver video. I'll leave a, a card for it up here where I talk about some of the benefits and some of the, some of the drawbacks to like a ratcheting scru style screwdriver. Now, newsflash here, spoiler alert, uh, I like this roll gear uh, quite a bit more than I like the Milwaukee. And I'll talk about some of the reasons why, but one of the things when I did that other video that I talked about was with the Milwaukee, how much play it had out at the end of it. You can see it, it flexing there quite a bit. I'm trying to hold it stationary and do that. And the tolerances on this, while they're not just horribly sloppy they're not nearly as good as this roll gear screwdriver it has about half of the amount of play out here at the end uh, than the milwaukee has so that's a definite plus for this this is a big upgrade one of the things i like about the bits that are this style is that uh, you can fit them down in recessed areas more easily so say i want to take well i've got this light here some of you might recognize this. I got the video on that, the little cheap Chinese light. <clears throat> so I've got this real micro-sized uh, Phillips bit here. And you can fit it down in recessed areas where if it was a larger bit, uh, you're going to have to kind of interpret what I'm saying here. If it was a larger bit, you, could, you would have a hard time fitting it down in recessed areas like that. You see there, I'm reversing, and then I can put it back in, but at a certain point it slips. So if I want to tighten, I go like that, and I get that good and snug. With these bits that are longer, point is, you can fit them down in recessed areas more easily. So it's, it's nice and handy, particularly if you're going to have this in a mobile bag. I don't see this screwdriver from Roll Gear for, like, technicians, not even automotive, only, uh, you know, maybe electricians, people that work on appliances even like office equipment, stuff like that, small appliances. 
this is something that's handy to have in your bag where if you've got a light bag you go into a place you need something with a lot of bits in it you don't want to carry an entire set of drivers in there this could be a solution uh, i don't think this is going to be something that's going to replace an entire set of screwdrivers or bit drivers this is something that's compact uh, it, it packs a lot into a small amount, a small area, but this isn't a fix-all solution for you. I will say this about the handle. The handle is very comfortable. And I think I mentioned this earlier, this is made in Canada. So, not made in the U.S. You know, I'm here in the United States, I like to buy made in the U.S., but this is made in Canada. And you like to support countries that are closer to you. I like stuff that's made in Canada or Mexico or even uh, Central or South America, but uh, if you're not going to buy U.S., it's, it's, I, I think next best thing is to buy something closer by. Uh, but the handle on this is very, very ergonomic. Uh, I will say this, though. If you have larger size hands like I have, these bits are nice and sharp. The, the precision on them is excellent, but say if I run this up, all the way back here to where it's not going to bump my hand. There's a little bit of these bits that's sitting proud up here. So if you really are trying to get some purchase on this, you're going to have some hot spots with these bits. But if you're going to really try to get some purchase, maybe you should, you know, get a fixed blade. Um, I, I mean, all in all, like I said, I used this for a month and uh, I'm pretty impressed by it. Um, I have a couple more thoughts, but let me get back up in the truck so I can get you some better close-ups. The, the verdict though, as far as the usability of this, definitely very, very usable. Okay, so the real question is, is it worth it? And uh, I'll answer that here in a second. But I will say, uh, I was just checking the Amazon price on this, and I will leave links down in the description to this on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything extra. But this is actually a 15-in-1. I said 14-in-1 because I was counting the bits, but the hex driver there, uh, that counts as well. So this is 15-in-1 for the record. So is it worth it? Because the Amazon price, uh, as of me shooting this video, is $24.99. I will say this. When I looked at this initially, when they said they were going to send it to me, I looked at the price and I thought... Eh, it seems a little bit steep, but, you know, I try to withhold judgment, reserve judgment until after I get it and I've used it. And I will say that this screwdriver really grew on me. Uh, at first, I kind of thought, eh, maybe, uh, maybe instead of $25, maybe this thing should be like $20, you know, a little bit better deal there. Well, then I checked price on this Milwaukee, which I showed you earlier on, and this is about $17.00. At Home Depot and uh, I'm not a huge fan of this if you watch that other video you'll you'll see that but when you take into account that that screwdriver is 17 bucks uh, this roll gear doesn't seem that bad at 25 I will say this the feel of it the fit and finish of it is noticeably better than the Milwaukee screwdriver so if you're gonna pay $17 for a Milwaukee screwdriver uh, I think you're getting every bit as good a deal with this roll gear made in Canada screwdriver with some global components for $25. Like how I just kind of slipped that in there. Some global components. That's kind of my my favorite thing when they say that. But this uh, Milwaukee is made in China for $17. Bucks. Quality is not just terrible, but it's not great. Roll gear, pretty good quality. Um, so is it worth it for you? Well, if you don't mind spending $25 for a very nice... 15 and one multi-bit ratcheting screwdriver yeah i could totally see it being worth it now i've like i said i've only had this for a month and i've used it i haven't used it every day but i've carried it with me every day so it's gotten banged around and uh this thing's actually feels pretty tough when you only have something for a month it's it's hard to really attest to the longevity of it because like i say you've only had it for a month rtr did a review i'll leave a card for his video up here in the corner but he did a, uh, a video on these screwdrivers from roll gear and uh it's interesting you know i watched that video probably over a year ago now and uh my takeaways were huh that looks pretty good but you know sometimes you just can't tell 
but I'm, I'm going to say it's a buy. If you don't mind spending that much, I know there are screwdrivers out there from other companies, USA made, the Williams Ratcheting comes to mind. I think those are about $35 on YouTube, or uh, not on YouTube, on Amazon. Uh, I think this is a very good buy for 25 bucks. The quality feels there, the fit and finish is good. The quality of the bits is good. Uh, it functions really well. It's tighter tolerances than the Milwaukee. I, I would say go ahead and buy it. You don't mind that price tag, go ahead and buy it. I will leave links in the description. Be sure to check out my Amazon links. Also check out onlinetoolvendors.com. And uh, until then, ta-ta for now.